Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are taking care and keeping safe. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, which has been officially announced by Samsung in their Unpack 2 event today. Here's a first look at the device and all the bells and whistles it comes with. The Z Fold 2 has a lot of improvements over the last year's Fold, especially a larger cover display, which is now a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED Infinity O screen with a 386 ppi pixel density and a 25 by 9 aspect ratio. The screen has a 60 hz refresh rate and is protected by the Gorilla Glass Victus. The inner main display is a big 7.6 inch dynamic Super AMOLED Infinity O screen made of Samsung's ultra thin glass and has 373 ppi pixel density. This display has an adaptive refresh rate which can move from 11 hertz to 120 hertz for optimal performance. Like other Samsung devices, the 120 hertz is possible only on the full HD plus resolution. The back of the phone is protected by Gorilla Glass 6. The phone has an aluminum frame all around it. The fingerprint scanner has been moved to the side of the device, which is a little unusual. The phone now has a smaller hinge gap and now allows the phone to open and lock in various angles. Samsung is calling this the flex mode, which works both on the cover and the main displays. The phone also gets high dynamic dual stereo speakers. Now let's talk about the cameras. The phone gets three cameras on the back a 12 megapixel f1.8 lens with OIS, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with f2.2 aperture, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens which is capable of 2x optical zoom and 10x digital zoom. For the selfies, the cover and main displays each get a 10 megapixel selfie camera with f2.2 aperture. The rear cameras also get the pro features for photos as well as videos. Now the phone gets an amazing feature called the dual view where you can use the main cameras as the front facing cameras. Basically you can open up the phone and use the cover screen as the viewfinder display. This also works in cases where you're clicking pictures of somebody. They will be able to see themselves in the cover view. Well now for some good news, the Z Fold 2 will be powered by the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor all across the world and there is no Exynos version that we know of yet. So a big thumbs up to Samsung for that. Talking about the storage, the phone will come with 256 GB coupled with 12 GB RAM. However, there is no SD card support. The phone has a 4500 mAh battery pack which supports 25 Watt fast charging, wireless charging and wireless power share. The phone will come with Android 10 on top of Samsung's One UI 2.5. The Z Fold 2 gets a lot of new software features that enhances the user experience. For example, display continuation. So let's say you're watching a video on the cover display and open up the phone. The video will continue playing on the main display as well. The phone also features multi-active windows and you can use up to three apps at the same time on the main display. There is also an interesting Windows-like drag and drop feature that is supported by some apps. Samsung's partnership with Microsoft brings this feature in their productivity apps as well. The phone will come in two colors, the Mystic Black and Samsung's current favorite, the Mystic Bronze. The phone is priced at $1,999 US dollars and is available for pre-booking starting tomorrow. The phone will be launched on September 18th. We should get a similar launch date for India as well since Samsung is launching the phone in 40 countries simultaneously. We can expect it to be priced between 1.65 to 1.75 lakhs here in India. Well that wraps up the video guys. Let me know what you think about the new Z Fold 2. If you like the video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Do subscribe to the Consumer Jockey for more similar videos. Thank you so much for hanging out, stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one.